Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we're going to be talking about selling uh, Call Obsidian and uh, Namor. So I have been asked uh, dozens of times by now whether I sold my Call, whether I sold my Namor, whether I will sell them. And then you can see a lot of forum posts. The first day this option became available, it was a popular post on forum, did you sell your Call and Namor? so and so forth and many people discussing whether they want to or don't want to sell Cal or Namor and uh, the plan here is uh, relatively simple so as always you try to take kind of like the biggest advantage of any situation that's presented and uh, the idea would be fairly simple you do want to sell both of these champions as five and six stars it's a relatively simple idea uh, just even though so you can rank them up again and earn more points for like your level up events or mutant advancement or cosmic advancement that being one definite kind of like upside to that so you uh, might as well get out some uh, units and uh, other rewards from those events but additionally there is a fairly important point that you can do to take advantage and restructure your resources better and that's quite uh, simple so you get back all of the items you used at the time which you had available so for instance if you were one of the players who chose to take up namor to sig 200 and you use some generic awakening gems or generic signature stones and since then you have acquired mutant awakening gems and mutant six stones you can sell your namor for instance get him back and even if you still want to rank him up you obviously can do that but this time you can use your mutant awakening gem instead and you can use your mutant signature stones instead so basically you'd be swapping your mutant or cosmic class uh, items for generic ones which are definitely much more useful and that is kind of like a good idea to kind of like just set yourself up better for future because quite often you do hear these stories kind of like oh, i used my genetic gem on call obsidian and uh, the next awakening gem you pull is cosmic one or i used my genetic gem on namor and the next gem you pull is a mutant one additionally i do believe that many people will genuinely have regrets about ranking up call obsidian or they have since pulled a better champion. Uh, in my case, I will be selling both of these champions. And most importantly, I will be selling them on 23rd or uh, early 24th of February. Because currently there is literally no good reason to sell these champions prematurely and rob your account from uh, multiple days of being able to use these champions. So basically, if you sold them, as we can see here on this timeline at February 10th, you still get them back early March. So effectively, you're going to be having them off your account for an entire month. If you sell them on February, February 24th or February 23rd, you still them get them back at the same time everybody else does, but you keep your account in possession of these two champions for two more weeks. So uh, it doesn't really make sense to sell them any other day aside from like the last day that it's uh, possible uh, just so you can use these champions in quests or arenas or anything else or if namor for instance affects your prestige or be that uh, whichever reason it is there is no good reason to sell these champions uh, earlier than uh, 23rd or 24th so to basically briefly sum it up yes i do think everybody should sell the uh, Call Obsidians, 5 and 6 star. Everybody should sell their Namors, 5 and 6 star. And uh, then wait, get them back in March. Then uh, even if you still want to take these champions back up, you can obviously do that. And you would still uh, be able to kind of like score some level up event rewards. And additionally, selling these champions will give you an option to replace all of your generic items that you used for these champions for uh, basic class ones which uh, is something that would definitely be preferred so if you want to be clever about this entire situation and uh, try and benefit from it as much as you can then uh, in my opinion that is certainly something you should do 100% uh, only kind of exception could be if you are planning to tackle uh, some hard content in the meanwhile and you're planning to use Namor then perhaps it is better if you keep him 
but uh, if you have the option and if that need for Neymar is not that major uh, within that period of week or two that you will be left without these champions, then I definitely 100% wholeheartedly recommend uh, everybody selling both Cal and Neymar and uh, enjoy the kind of like free upgrades kind of like thing, uh, score some points and level up. Uh, get to exchange your generic resources for class ones, which is certainly something I'm looking forward to. And uh, yeah, no harm, no foul there then. Uh, even if you want to keep Neymar and Call, you can still sell them and rank them right back up. So all of that being said, that will be pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys found it helpful. I hope this answers some of your questions. And if it did, do not forget to hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit all of the buttons, and I'm going to catch you guys soon. See ya.